$1,500 and getting a copy of Fallout 76. This special offer won't last long, so talk to a guest advisor about taking one for Xbox One X Special Edition Fallout 76. So that was really cool. This is a $10 statue. I mean, originally this was marked at $50. Actually, where is the price at? There you go. So for 10 bucks, you could not pass on this, man. And I've been actually eyeing this guy for a while. Um, this is a GameStop exclusive diamond, uh, diamond, is it diamond select? No, I think it's DC collectibles. No, it's diamond select. I'm sure. Who makes this? Gallery. Oh, it's gallery. Yeah, it's diamond select. Diamond select, um, green lantern statue, a GameStop exclusive. This guy looks awesome. $10 guys, 10 bucks. I mean, where's my receipt just to show you guys that it, look at the price. See the price on there? Look at that. That is crazy. That is super crazy, man. I came down here because I was going to go to Target to get some dog food. And I was like, you know what? Let me stop by GameStop. There's only two of these bad boys left for 10 bucks. That's awesome. You know what? We might as well make this a toy hunting video since we're, we are in the area. But I'm going to head into Ross really quick and see if there's anything inside. Posters or any other, uh, any kind of figures in here. Uh, mainly posters, though. I like the posters that they sell in here. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Batman backpack with some bags and Mario on. All right, so doesn't look like there's any. They still have a bunch. Well, at least I mean, there's still one. But last time I was here, there was a bunch of the Negans, and they still have some, some there. Yeah, there's another one right there. Destiny. Okay. these guys here the Jumanji board game yeah you gotta look behind these sometimes there's another Negan sometimes you'll find stuff uh, hidden around here mm -hmm. yeah there's nothing crazy back here this is a Batmobile 15 bucks Hogs, an R2 unit, another Negan. Ooh. Comic Worlds, Batman, Flash. I actually really like this one. This one's really cool. The lenticular cover. We got a flash one. Found a few more. And some Marvel and DC ones. Lenticular covers. So I wanted to do like a challenge video. Um, not necessarily like a challenge video. I guess. Well, maybe it is a challenge video uh, where I get a certain amount of money, maybe like thirty dollars, forty dollars, and I head into a, a store that you guys pick and you guys like i'll get like a budget and see what i can buy with that certain amount of dollars you know what I, you guys know what i mean so like whether it's like a at like a i don't know some kind of a the mall or a, a target i don't know anything you guys you guys decide give me the dollar amount like something of something like where it's like 20 30 bucks you know where you see what i can buy with like a 30 dollar uh, uh price limit um also on top of that you guys hear about toys r us is coming back Toys R Us is coming back seasonal. That's so freaking awesome. Really excited for that. It's not going to be as big as it was, but it, the store is going to be coming back. Ooh, I get shade. We got shade parking over here. Let's head in, guys, and uh, we're going inside Target now. Ooh. Got the same old stuff in there. No clearance prices on those yet. At least here, not for the uh, the Funko Batcave. What do they got? Nothing, nothing new here. We're gonna look under the shelves here in a second. All right, now we're in the Marvel section. They still got all those Deadpools here. Mm. It doesn't look like there's anything, anything new, anything new here. A lot of the same stuff. I can't believe they still have this guy here. One. Nothing. Check under this one here. 
nothing. They got, own, they got their own Mario end cap here. Whoa, this one's heavy. Nothing, a little stuffed animal there. Looks like somebody might have already cleared out under here. Yeah, there's nothing under these. So let's go into the NECA slash Funko Pop section, which looks uh, really stocked, actually. Really, really stocked. Whoa, look at all this stuff over here. They still got, they were, were, these were like out a while ago. They still got some of the um, the accessory sets from Pennywise. They got Michael Myers. They don't have uh, Lori yet. Jason. There's some Five Nights at Freddy here. Some more Ultimates up in there. And then some of the plushies. Yeah, they've been really stocking up on their uh, Funko Pop section. That one looks pretty cool right there. And they still got a lot of the uh, the pop and tees. And of course the same old 10 inch ones that they always that they always have. That Mugo guy's been sitting here for a while. Uh, there's the new Stranger Thing figures. That looks a facial. Face looks kind of weird. This one actually looks really good. Uh, Stranger Things merchandise since the show's going to be coming out, coming back pretty soon. Got some some of the pops too. And then these these right here. I don't even know what these are. So I think Funko makes these, but I could be wrong. I don't actually. I don't know who makes these. Netflix. I don't even know what these are supposed to be. But um, this is actually pretty cool right here. Where is it? Where did I see it? Oh, right here. That from Metal Diecast, you get the um, you get the badge in this. This is really cool. Yeah, didn't I just see this at a uh, Ross for like twelve dollars? But looks like it's on sale here too. Their little sales end cap has kind of reduced. I remember when they were like they had like five end caps, just full of stuff. But uh, yeah, there's nothing nothing too crazy on the uh, clearance end caps. All right, let's go ahead and make a quick stop at Best Buy. Oh, it looks like they still got some steel books of Captain Marvel, and they got the uh, Captain America trilogy on 4K steel books. Here's the Batman stuff. I can't wait to get the uh, 4K exclusive set, the steel book set on these, which are Best Buy exclusive, I believe. Dude, I would love to have this horror display. You know, it's almost time for Halloween, so you know what that means: horror reviews. Now we got some uh, steel books here. We got the Spider-Man Homecoming. What's this? Oh, this is the the Legacy Collection. I guess this is the um, it's a steel book. Okay, so it's got the original Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Mans on here. Oh, and it has the uh, Spider-Man Three Edition cut, which I think I've seen before, but I could be wrong. And then we have other steel books here. Has anybody seen this movie? Let me know what you thought. Looks like they got a sale going on here. Buy one, get one free. All right, so this is this is actually something I really want to get. Um, I remember seeing this movie as a kid, and actually thinking it was okay. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. It's got a you know a lot of well-known actors in it. It's ten bucks. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen this in so long. It's probably going to be one of those movies when you you remember watching it as a kid, and later on when you watch it, you're like, oh, this is a bad movie. Um, I don't know. I do want. I kind of want to pick. They have it. tons of steel books of. Um, Captain Marvel and they're loaded with the Blu-rays. It's same thing, same thing with Target. There's tons of the uh, the Blu-rays there. So they got they have some of the 4K steelbooks for Justice League. Did anybody catch this movie? The Leprechaun. I heard it was a, a direct sequel to the, the first Leprechaun movie, but it's not the same actor who plays Leprechaun. Anybody think this is good, worth watching? Uh, it looks like they got the uh, steel book for Pet Cemetery here. I love the steel book. This is cool. And then they have a uh, Forrest Gump steel book. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't have it on Blu-ray yet. Mm, here's their pop section. Doesn't look like anything's really changed. They might have just added the the new Toy Story ones. But yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is really new since the last time I have been in here. So they got the Ant-Man mask here. Some a lot of Lion King stuff now. I, I pretty I don't think I've seen this stuff. I think this is actually this movie right here is something I'm really excited for. I saw a recent clip on this, and um, the nostalgia feelings just got me. 
just really, really got me. Yeah, but again, a lot of the legend stuff, it's still still the same old same old figures. Uh, nothing nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. These are still I, I don't know if these have gone down anymore, if they're still the same price. But we got Mysterio here. And I am at, last stop of the day, Michaels, because I'm actually doing I'm working on custom figures now. I, as well not necessarily custom, more so of like painting. So I'm gonna head in Michaels there. Michaels in a long time. It's been a while since I've been inside of a Michaels. Ooh, look at this, $60 a big inflatable. Actually, so you're gonna come back for some of this stuff because I want to make my own uh, glitter pop. My own uh, Funko horror glitter pop. What's this? The model, it's opened. Oh, they got a lot of cool stuff here. These are cool. You can find some cool like little display pieces here. Like stuff to display like you know, uh, whether it's like necklaces or replicas. They sell, they sell some Hot Wheels here. They got that Thanos mobile. You know, it's actually good that I came in here, I'm telling you, because I, I'm gonna start getting crazy with the um, customizing uh, pops. Ooh, they got model kits here. Uh, pretty, I mean, model kits already knew they had because Hobby Lobby pretty much carries model kits too. Probably a better selection. But they even have Legos in here. I found their uh, their pop section and their blind blind boxes. That's pretty cool. But they have some pop. They got a Big Bang Theory. Looks like they carry some new ones because they got the Toy Story Toy Story Four ones, Big Bang Theory. It's got some random pops in here too. Jeez. I just see it. Whoa. Got some Avengers Endgame. Endgame stuff in here. Phoenix. But yeah, they actually have a pretty good, you know, selection of pops. That one's on clearance for $7.97 in the back. Yeah, you can customize this, paint it, and make it like a kryptonite. All right, so this is cool. So the uh, shadow boxes and display boxes are 50% off. So that is including, you know, a lot of this stuff here, the uh, baseball bat displays for your pops. Uh, this is pretty cool since I do collect some cards. Uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. 50% off of these. So this is actually what I came for and uh, is to get pick up some paint brushes. Dude, this would be so cool for like a Pennywise display. Putting like Pennywise in the front of this, like a mystery mini. That's pretty awesome. What I really needed was some, some glue, but uh, you guys are gonna be seeing some videos on custom uh, pops coming really, really right, soon. So this is pretty much everything that I picked up today. Uh, besides that Hobby Lobby, or I'm sorry, uh, actually I did just, I just came back from Hobby Lobby. I, I took that, if you guys remember that big Batman um, pinball machine glass, I took it to go get framed finally. But uh, what I picked up today at, at uh, Hobby Lobby, because I did go to Hobby Lobby, I ended up picking up, finally getting this too, and this the uh, Batman shelf had a 50% coupon. So I jumped on this, and what I think I'm gonna display on this Batman shelf is gonna be a lot of these miniature, uh, like retro kind of stuff. So this is pretty cool to have. And then at, at uh, Michael's that I went to, I actually picked up some supplies, because I'm gonna start doing crazy customs with my pops. I'm gonna attempt to. Not a customizer, but I wanna do it because it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of that, I did another gold Pennywise right there, this time with a balloon. Ah, they're pretty cool to do, they're fun. It's a lot of fun. But this was the pickup of the day. $10, man, for this diamond, or for this, uh, yeah, Diamond Select Green Lantern. It's pretty nice. You can see he's got the effect. He got a little shield, and then he has the, uh, the little effect right there going all the way down. And this turns into the, this is actually the base. I was like, this is kind of like a weird little base, but it stands on, he stands perfectly on his own. And I like it. He's got the armor. The head sculpt looks really good. I'm, I, and I've mentioned before, guys, Diamond Select is really killing it with a lot of, you know, their their PBS, uh, PBC, sorry, their PBC gallery statues. Speaking of customs, since I was never able to pick up that Walgreens, I think it was, no, it was FYE or was it Walgreens? Exclusive bloody uh, Funko Mystery Minis Beverly, which I think goes for like $60, $70 online. Um, I ended up getting some some of this like fake blood on Amazon. 
and it's pretty cool it's like the way it comes out it looks like real blood so i was like you know what i'm just, i have an extra beverly so why not just paint her red all over i'll show you guys in the video uh what the finished finished uh product looks that like that is it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it thumbs up the video if you saw anything you liked let me know down below and if you guys ended up picking up any of the the you know statues they had going for ten dollars at GameStop, let me know if you saw it and this video helped you and you managed to get one because they had a Harry Potter one for $10 and some other ones too the lady was telling me, but uh, this is the one that I got. Let me know down below, guys. We'll see you soon. Woo.